Also new for you tonight, a Cromwell High School student is under fire after his video went viral for the worst possible reason. He wore blackface, used extremely, extremely racist language, and even pretended to beat an African American. Channel 3's Roger Suzanne joins us now live at Cromwell High School with all of the details. Roger, what can you tell us? Well, Aaron and Mark, you know, Cromwell's superintendent of schools tells us that he has already met with the student who produced this video, as well as that student's parents. And he does tell us that that student will face some sort of disciplinary action. But an African-American district parent tells us the superintendent must do much more to ensure this type of horrible incident doesn't happen again. Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to say the N-word. A white Cromwell High School student's racist video begins with a threat that sadly he fulfills while wearing blackface. What you say? And that was only the beginning. The student, who just finished the 11th grade and shared the video on the TikTok app, spliced in a Trayvon Martin news clip. Trayvon Martin, an unarmed black teenager, was shot down by a white neighborhood watchman who claimed self-defense and perhaps yes. most sickeningly, portrays Uncle Sam beating a black person. Do you know what we did to in my day? I saw that video, and, and it's one of the most disturbing videos I've ever seen. I felt like my kids and other kids of, you know, uh, that are not white were essentially being threatened in the video. Rasan Yearwood is a Cromwell father of six, and two of his children go to Cromwell High School. But the first thing you want to ask him is, are you okay? You know, do you feel okay? Rasan is glad Cromwell superintendent spoke out against the video, but he feels district leaders need to sit down with students and parents of color as soon as possible. I need to be assured that the school is taking steps to make sure when they return in August for the 1920 school year that they're going to be safe and protected. Along with safety issues, Rasan is most concerned that the district takes steps to raise cultural awareness and create a detailed plan on how to incorporate diversity into every aspect of the school to hopefully prevent this type of hateful speech. I'm not so interested in what we do after the fact. As I am, what are we doing to prevent this doesn't happen again? Rasan is happy today was the last day of classes at Cromwell High School, so district leaders have time to make a plan. But as far as the student who made this video, he hopes it's the last time his children have to see him ever again. Would you feel comfortable with your kids mm -hmm. going to school with him next year? Uh, no. Back live now. Now, Cromwell's superintendent does tell us that the student involved in producing that video was very apologetic and ashamed of his actions, but it's unclear right now if he will ever return to school here at Cromwell High School. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Reporting live in Cromwell tonight, I'm Roger Suzanne in Channel 3 Eyewitness News.